Hi, welcome to the Brocade Campus Feature Explainer Series. I'm Terry Henry. Um, we are talking about Cisco to Brocade migration. So if you're, you're uh, migrating a Cisco configuration to a Brocade ICX configuration, or if you're even you know connecting a Cisco to a Brocade, what is the uh, equivalent commands on both sides? So uh, in this case, we're talking about static port channels, or you know what Cisco calls Ether channel. Um, um, so it's basically a link aggregation group. So um, on the Cisco side, we would do a traditional port channel, right? So uh, from config T here, uh, we will go into interface uh, giggy, I don't know, one slash zero slash 11, let's say. Uh, and we'll do a channel dash group uh, for mode on all right um and then we'll do another port so uh interface giggy zero slash 12 uh same thing so we're going to go mode on then we're going to create that that port channel interface we could have done that first but interface um port dash channel uh four so the number has to match, obviously, what you're assigning before. Uh, switch port, trunk, and cap, uh, dot one Q. Um, will allow a VLAN, so switch port, uh, trunk, allow vlan 10 oops uh, and switch port mode trunk okay so that's basically what we need to do we need to create a port channel assign it to the vlans you know access or tagged uh, and then assign it to the various interfaces with mode on so on is a static uh, port channel right um, so we now should be able to do a show interface uh, port channel 4. Um, so it is down and down. It's not connected. It's not administratively down. It's just not connected, which means that neither port uh, 10 or 11 that I configured uh, are, up, are up interfaces. So it's not going to bring the port channel interface up. Okay. So that's how we would do it on Cisco side. So on the brocade side here, we create uh, from config mode, we create a lag. So lag, give it a name, whatever you want to call it. Um, and then whether it's static, dynamic, or keep alive. So in this case, we're creating a static lag. Um, the next thing we need to do is add our ports to it, right? So ports, uh, ethernet, 1.1.11 to 1.1.12. Okay, uh, we have to assign a primary port. So, um, um, the reason we assign a primary port is for a couple reasons. One, once we once we build this lag and deploy it, the configuration goes only on the port that is the primary, right? So, if it's a if you're setting you know speed and duplex or VLAN or something, you set it only on the primary port. And it's also the port where we carry, you know, broadcast and unknown unicast. So we have to have a primary. If you don't have a primary port, it will refuse to um, to deploy that. So the primary is going to be one slash one slash say eleven. Uh, and lastly, we would deploy that. Right. So it says it was deployed successfully, uh, and then whatever VLAN you want to send it. So so we're doing uh, VLAN 40 was on the Cisco side. So we'll go VLAN 40, and then we are going to tag E. Oh, no, I'm sorry. That's not true. It was VLAN 10 on the Cisco side. Um, so we will say VLAN 10 and tag E1111. So... Uh, I only needed to add the primary port, as I said before, and it added all the other ports in the in the lag. So in this case, it was there was only two ports, but it would have added them all. So um, 
anyway, so that's it. So, so on the Cisco side, you create the port channel, right, and then assign the channel group with mode on to the interfaces. In in the brocade side, you create the lag, you assign the ports to the lag, you assign a primary port, and you deploy it, and then assign the VLAN to you know the primary port of the VLAN. Okay, so that's it for statics. Thanks very much.